In these days of changing ways, so-called liberated days, a story comes to mind of a friend of mine. Georgia boy was gay, I guess. Nothing more or nothing less. The kindest guy I ever knew. His mother's tears fell in vain. The afternoon George tried to explain that he needed love like all the rest. Paul says there must be a mistake. How can my son not be straight after all I've said and done for him? The ones he loves, a victim of these gay days, it seems. Georgie went to New York town, very quickly settled down, and soon became the toast of the great white way. Accepted by Manhattan's elite. In all the places that were she, no party was complete without George. Along the boulevards he cruised, and all the old queens blew a fuse. Everybody loved Georgie Boy. I saw George alive was in the summer of 75. He said he was in love. I said I'm pleased. George attended the opening night of another Broadway hype, but split before the final curtain fell. Deciding to take a shortcut home, arm in arm, they meant no wrong. A gentle breeze blew down Fifth Avenue. Side street came a New Jersey gang with just one aim to roll some innocent passerby. There ensued a fearful fight, screams rung out in the night. George's head hit a sidewalk cornerstone. A leather kid, a switchblade knife, did not intend to take his life. He just pushed his luck a little too far that night. Side of blood dispersed the gang. A crowd gathered, the police came, an ambulance screamed to a halt on 53rd and 3rd. George's life ended then, but I ask who really cares? George once said to me, and I quote, He said, never wait or hesitate. Get in, get before it's too late. You may never get another chance. Cause youth's a mask, but it don't last. Live it long and live it fast. Georgie was a friend of mine.